can drop into the video. That's mm. beautiful. Somehow she is like the same size standing and much thinner than she is here. Then you have her face like going all over. Back tomorrow at 1.30. Mm -hmm. So that way you'll have, we'll have rolling conversations and uh, discussions. This is the first time I've seen so many square images. And, right. and last time we had a lot more 16 by 9, so that's why you're busy noticing Voila. this discrepancy yeah. between yeah. 16 by 9 video yeah. footage and, and square images. The streaming services, so that those decisions can be made based upon quantification of the interaction. AI was something that we were interested in, but not in a sense of just bringing AI into the artwork as a gloss mm. or because it's fashionable. We wanted to see if the AI could somehow enhance or expand the, the, the choreographic principles and the somatic reaction to the, to the work. Yeah. So already we're in a situation of, yeah. are we using new AI? Are we identifying the AI that's already in the, the platforms that, that we're working with? Um, or are we refusing AI? Our starting point is maybe one of a bit more ambivalence or criticality than, than some artists who might want to just feel that this is the next big thing. It, it is like object tracking, object recognition feature, mapping, using the Vuforia, and then it's like some older algorithms. It's this longer sort of story around computer vision. Where we are now is we're opening out the existing AI and we're recognizing what it does. It's the feature recognition or the object tracking where it's just allowing the thing to function and then allowing us to stretch its affordances. This work was ever about AI. AI is everywhere. It's omnipresent in a very daunting large way. But that's what my work is about. It's this hard confrontation of information with those bodies that are in hyperstates, in a hyper-reality, that all of us are living. That's Absolutely. the pathology of the social political body within your own body. Mm -hmm. And it's dark. You have to meet it. Just enhancing the movement relationship between the people holding the device, the visual imagery in the device, the tag and the physical space. Mm -hmm. The algorithm might be able to literally shift the dynamic the moving parts. It can maybe add another layer of movement in the parts that would then contribute to the somatic whole. Mm -hmm. And we're not using AI to track somatic states. No, no. Yeah, no. that's okay. Um, do we want to call it kinesthetic AI? Do we want to call it somatic AI? Do we want to call it... There's a cultural recognition that AI is not just what happens in the device. AI is what happens when we encounter the device. It's right. when it's applied to our lives. Mm -hmm. And there's a problem with just assuming that it's only what happens in the system, uh -huh. because what happens in the system impacts us. Right. And there's a danger of just assuming that, that, that you will locate AI just in what, the, what big data is doing, mm -hmm. because, or what systems are doing, because actually they impact our lives. It's seeing and challenging AI's power. Uh -huh. So recognizing that it's already there, and it's already doing something. And one of the first things that you need to do is just see that it's doing it, that it's present. Mm. And yeah. then crack it open, recognize it, and then decide how you can work with that or how you can maybe move away from that. Yeah. It's just like another material layer. It's not like something that's driving the whole work. I mean, no. it's the somatic presence yeah. of your performance that's driving the work, actually. Obviously, and we're yeah. using the AI just subtly, just to create more ripples going outward. Then maybe we stick with kinesthetic AI for now. Yeah. Well, kinesthetic algorithms. As we understand the algorithms and the potential for AI in our work, it is to enhance and support our choreographic principles, which are in a way about movement around the tag, the position of the video within the tag in order to enhance the somatic states.